One of Lexus's new electric cars and the Tesla Cybertruck both use steer-by-wire, meaning there's no real connection in terms of mechanical connection from the steering wheel to the wheels. It's basically digital. The industry really, it's very new to the industry. I mean, having this concept of electronic, really electronic connection between the steering wheel and the wheels, is, is, it's very new. And a lot of people still think, oh, is this something we can do? However, now the digital revolution is happening. And many manufacturers are saying to themselves, well, okay, steer by wire makes sense. It works really well. It means you can electronically adjust the steering so that when you're in a really tight area, the car could potentially see what you're trying to do and adjust the steering so that you can turn really sharply. When you're on a freeway and someone pulls in front of you, do you want to turn sharply? No, you don't. You're going to flip your car. So it's actually a safety benefit. But is it a safety benefit to have electronic brakes or steer by wire for braking? It hasn't been done before, but it's about to be. In fact, from what I can tell, it's about to become mainstream. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And if you'd like to become a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below. Electric cars are primarily software. They run on software. That's how your electric car, the app, is able to do things. It's able to actually turn the air conditioning off, turn the car on and off, schedule the charging. It's all software-based. The next part of the software puzzle is making cars with braking that's also software-based. ZF and Brembo, two of the largest parts manufacturers in the world, both based in Germany, are the first suppliers to announce contracts for brake-by-wire or digital braking systems that ditch centuries-old hydraulic components, which is what we still use today. It's really very old school, but it's the way we still do it. The way brakes operate hasn't really changed at all in 100 years. The driver presses the brake pedal, a master cylinder pushes fluid through a series of pipes to disc brake calipers and wheel cylinders inside of drum brakes, or today, inside of disc brakes. The pressurized fluid moves pistons that squeeze the pads against rotors and in some cars expands shoes against drums to slow the vehicle. Really, there's only two types of brakes today, disc brakes and drum brakes. Most cars have disc brakes, but what I just said is pretty similar regardless of which braking system you have on your car. Automotive News says that that basically has been the standard system since the 1920s when Augie and Fred Duesenberg equipped their Duesenberg Model A with four-wheel hydraulic brakes. But now more precise computer-controlled electronic components are about to replace low-tech hydraulics. Brake by wire can use artificial intelligence and algorithms to improve safety by shortening stopping distances and keeping vehicles more stable under emergency braking. Brembo's Sensify system is expected to arrive next year, the company has said, and they also have claimed that uh, they've already made an agreement with an auto manufacturer. Brembo, which makes high-performance brakes for vehicles like motorcycles, exotic supercars, race cars, they won't name who this customer is, and they won't reveal what type of car it is either. I mean, it's obviously an actual car. They won't say, is it a pickup truck? Is it a sports car? They're just saying it's coming next year. ZF, the German company best known for its automatic transmissions, won't name its first customer for its EMB electronic brakes. Those brakes are actually called electromechanical braking, and they're coming in 2028. Peter Holdman, ZF's chassis division head, provided a hint at CES in Las Vegas in January. He told reporters ZF's contract calls for it to equip 5 million vehicles with EMB, 5 million, that's a lot. And 700,000 of those vehicles will be heavy duty pickups. That means, yeah, it's either Ford, Chevrolet, or Ram. So electronic braking is coming to the United States. There are two types of brake by wire. The version that came out about a decade ago still uses hydraulics, but has an electronic master cylinder, which measures driver intent when the brake pedal is pressed. But really, it's still another variation of hydraulic brakes. The new generation though, coming from Brembo and ZF are 
dry systems. They replace hydraulic calipers with electronic ones that use motors to move the brake pads. Is this a good decision? Will it be safer? Well, truthfully, no one actually knows yet. Traditional braking systems connect the pedal to the brake master cylinder and usually a vacuum operated booster, says Automotive News. ZF's EMB does away with most of that. They're completely redesigning how brakes actually work. The brake pedal is connected to an electric device that measures inputs such as the speed and force the driver actually uses when they press the pedal. A pedal simulator observes driver intent through pedal travel and force and translates it into a signal that is processed through a central computer, said Diego Cusi, ZF's Director of Engineering. That signal is now going to be issued out to the four corners. So my question is, what happens if that signal is not working and that computer fails? Does that mean your brakes will die? Does that mean you, you don't have any braking? Well, the tyres grip on the road creates another set of signals. The computer can apply different pressures to each wheel based on road conditions, which actually would make the car safer, but would it prevent it, the braking from failure? Well, I believe the idea is to have a backup computer, which would prevent that from happening, like a fail-safe mechanism. Now, what is really cool about this is being able to brake each individual wheel is actually much, much safer than the way brakes work today, where you can't do that, and that causes skid. So in theory, what they'll introduce is brakes with their own ABS sort of built into them, which is much more capable than today's braking systems. You won't be able to replicate this new kind of braking ability, even with any of today's most advanced brakes that currently exist on the market. The signal from each wheel is going to be interpreted, and then it is going to be command the motor to deliver a certain force, said the company. On cars with anti-lock brakes, the driver feels a buzz when the system engages. That will go away on vehicles with four-wheel brake by wire, since the motors that press the brake pads against the rotors are not connected to the brake pedal. Hybrid system. Is it possible to have a combination of both? Well, that's what Brembo's actually doing. Brembo's system, called Sensify, uses electronic components on all four wheels, suggesting the first application is going to be an electric car. So Brembo are making these brakes for the future. They're obviously recognizing the fact that internal combustion cars are not the future. What's the point of making them for those? And they're going to put them on electric cars first. ZF's EMB uses a combination of hydraulics for the front brakes, which provide the majority of the stopping power when you stop your car. Around 80% of the stopping power comes from the front brakes and only about 20% from the rear. So they use electronic components for the rear brakes. It would be too expensive to equip a combustion vehicle with a 12 volt electrical system that has a redundant power supply to safely operate the dry electric brakes on all four wheels in case of an electrical failure. So that's their fail safe. The EMB system can apply the brakes faster than hydraulic systems, said Kusi. State of the art hydraulic systems have what we call a time to lock. How long does it take for a wheel to lock? 150 milliseconds, for example, we can do it faster with these new brakes. Could be much faster. Bosch has a different type of brake by wire system that retains the hydraulically operated calipers but uses fast acting electronic actuation of the master cylinder, the component that routes brake fluid to the wheels. That's so quite different. Now, if you're wondering what each of these things are, the caliper is the component mounted behind the wheels that squeezes brake pads against the rotor. The disc that is mounted on the wheel hub that slows the vehicle when the brakes are applied is the rotor. And the master cylinder is the hydraulic pump connected to the brake pedal that pushes brake fluid to the calipers and wheel cylinders inside brake drums. Now, dry brake by wire is a system that uses electricity, not fluid, to activate the brakes. There's more to brake by wire systems, says Automotive News, than just applying the brakes faster. When brakes are applied, a phenomenon called weight transfer occurs. The front of a vehicle becomes heavier and the rear tires lose some of their grip. Brake by wire systems, especially when used with cameras and AI, can much more efficiently manage weight transfer and enhance safety under very hard braking. 
This has got to be the, one of the, the new improvements you're going to see in electric cars over the next five or 10 years. Much better braking systems, which will shorten reaction times and also mean that um, the car can apply force differently to each brake pad or each wheel, meaning your car may not slide out, which is quite often what happens in a crash. We've done a lot of studies where you could make a Chevrolet Suburban brake like a Corvette, said Danny Millett, ZF's Senior Vice President of Brake Engineering. In other words, vehicles that don't brake, that are shocking for braking, like big pickup trucks, they, they're braking honestly is usually pretty bad, will become massively better as a result of these new brakes. But drivers generally want a Suburban though, here's the thing, to feel like a Suburban and a Corvette to feel like a Corvette. So basically these companies are saying, that drivers won't actually want these massively improved brakes. They'll still want their vehicle to feel pretty similar to the way it felt before. In an emergency, maybe you have an autonomous camera system that applies the brakes without the driver pushing on the pedal. Then having a system that is really, really fast is a good thing, said Bosch. An EMB caliper displayed at ZF's North American headquarters in Livonia, Michigan, was bigger and felt heavier than a standard hydraulic caliper due mostly to the two electric motors mounted on the outer section. Though EMB will likely be more expensive than hydraulic systems, it offers advantages other than just being safer. So what, what exactly are those advantages? Well, the system eliminates the network of brake fluid carrying metal pipes routed through the chassis to each wheel, simplify manufacturing and reducing costs, and also reducing costs for you. Brake fluid is something that sometimes has to be changed, checked, replaced. In the future, you won't have to do that. Today, with electric cars, there's very little that needs to be done when they get serviced. But that's one of them, changing the brake fluid. In the future, you won't even need to do that. Brembo's system does away with vacuum-operated brake boosters and the hydraulic master cylinder, saving automakers more money. So these brakes should become significantly cheaper as well. And this is one thing that will reduce the cost of cars in the future. Dry brake-by-wire systems or electric brake-by-wire systems may also reduce maintenance and fuel costs. They don't need brake fluid, as I mentioned, flushes. Brake pads will likely last longer and fuel economy is expected to improve. Now, of course, if you've got an electric car, you'll know your brake pads last as long as you want them to. As long as you've got good regen braking, you really need to use them. But... One of the reasons why brake pads and rotors will last longer regardless of the type of car is because hydraulic brakes can't retract the pads off the rotors. So there is a slight drag even when the driver's foot is off the brake pedal. Electric brake pads retract the pads all the way off, meaning your car will be more efficient. You'll have better fuel economy if you still have an internal combustion car, which would suck. But if you've got an electric car, your efficiency will actually improve as well. So efficiency is huge for manufacturers. They're trying to figure out all these myriad different ways to improve the efficiency of your car. But one thing that could improve it by potentially 5%, which is huge, will simply be replacing the brakes with electric ones. They'll be safer, cheaper, and make your car more efficient to drive, which means a huge net benefit to new owners who are willing to try out this new technology. I personally, I think it's worth giving it a go. But there is still a little part of me that goes, uh, electric brakes, do I trust it? Well, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm.